Peter Lamont here. I just wanted to talk about something um, that I think is very important for anyone, whether you're building a business, building a brand, or just trying to be better at what you do, and that is hard work. I had a young entrepreneur in the office today, and he was asking me questions about the workday. How long should he work? And I was kind of like, what do you mean, how long should you work? And he said to me, well, I'm just trying to figure out how to gauge my work day and to know how long I have to work. And I had to explain to him that it's not the hours, right? It's how hard you work. Now, how hard you work could be how much concerted effort you put into your day or your task, but, you know, the bottom line is that if you're going to be successful in business, in life, building a company, you have to work harder than everyone else. You have to work as hard as you can to be the best that you can be. And all these people out there that will tell you it's luck, this guy who built this company was born with a silver spoon and all this nonsense, that's crap. None of that's true. That's people who didn't want to put in the effort, who didn't want to put in the hard work and just want to make excuses for the fact that they didn't accomplish what they probably, somewhere within them, had the ability to do. Ability and hard work do not go hand in hand. I guarantee you that the hardest worker or the hardest working entrepreneur will beat the talented entrepreneur who doesn't put in the work every single day. Every day. Success is about hard work. It is not about luck. There's no such thing as luck, not in my world. There's no such thing as, as fortune. It is hard work. The hard work doesn't stop. And if you want to get to the top and you want to be successful and you want to fulfill your dreams, your desires, then it requires hard work. There is no substitute. There is no easy way. There is no shortcut, nothing. So for all you young entrepreneurs out there who are trying to figure out how many hours you should work in a day, the answer is until you feel that you have put in as much time and effort as you need to in that 24-hour period. There is no such thing as a time clock. You know, if you're working for someone else and you're at a 9 to 5 job, right, you know what your hours are. You work 9 to 5. But if you are an entrepreneur and you are building something, then you need to work as hard as you can. A few years ago, I had a client who was a single mom working a nine to five job, but she wanted to be more than anything an entrepreneur and she had this idea that she was working on. This woman would come home from work every single day. She would spend time with her kids, have dinner, and when the kids went to bed, she worked. She worked all night long, sometimes 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then went to bed to get up and get the kids off to school and go to her nine to five job. She worked every day, every night, and ultimately she became successful. Her company started to grow and she was able to quit her nine to five job and live her dream, live her passion of being an entrepreneur and working for herself. But it didn't happen out of luck. She was a single mom with no child support coming in needing to have that nine to five job. She didn't come from a wealthy family. She had nothing. And if you look at her statistically, you'd say there's no way that this woman's gonna make it. But she did because she outworked everyone. She outworked everyone. And that's why she managed to be as successful as she is today running her own company spending the time that she wants to spend with her children and working for herself living her dream. So I can't say it enough. 
for all you young entrepreneurs out there that are looking for the 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 magic um, the magic wand, right? The secret sauce. How long do I have to work? How much effort do I put in? If you're asking those questions, then you are not committed to becoming the best that you can be. You are not committed to fulfilling your dreams. You're not committed to being an entrepreneur. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be. If you're worried about how long you have to work and how long it's going to take, then being an entrepreneur is not for you because it is a marathon, not a sprint. So don't look at the clock. Don't look at how many hours you've put in for that day. Look at what you've accomplished. Look at the goals you set for yourself that day and see how many of them you knocked out. And if you didn't knock enough out, then you keep working. And you keep working harder than anyone else. Expect more from yourself because you can get it. You can get it out of yourself when you've got that passion and true desire to be an entrepreneur, to be successful. Hard work beats talent every single day of the week. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. Just wanted to leave you with those uh, few thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and let other people know about the channel. And uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting some Law Basics videos in the next couple of days. And if you have suggestions, questions, or comments, don't hesitate to contact me. You can either leave a comment below. Uh, all my contact information is in the bucket down below as well. Um, so, you know, I look forward to hearing from you. Take today, think about what I said, and work harder than your competition. Have a great day.